I've shot with a lot of full frame cameras, uh, 35 millimeter cameras and uh, medium format cameras. And this was a different experience for me. So for my first half frame camera experience, I decided to go with the Konica recorder camera here. This is a camera that I bought recently and I showcased it in a previous episode. And now this reminds me of one of those um, cassette players, uh, Walkmans, back in the day. It's, it's, it's slightly smaller than a Walkman. I must say that um, this camera is so compact. I mean, look at it, there's no lens sticking out. There's no parts really sticking out. This is something you can put in your pocket a pretty sizable pocket and just take with you. Um, it's very easy to carry this around. That's one first thing I noticed about this. Um, it's very sturdy as well. I think the front is made out of some form of a metal here and the back is mostly plastic but it's quite durable when you think about it because there's no parts sticking out. This thing took quite a few uh, folds and it's, it didn't have any, any damage to it. So this takes two AA batteries. There's actually one hidden in there. So very easy to find battery of this kind. And also you see this little button right there, you slide it down and that's what's gonna let you slide this open. And when you do, this is what you see. This is the main lens over there. And at the back here, you set the ISO using this dial right there. Now the lens here is a 24 millimeter F4 lens, which for a full frame camera would be quite um, wide angle. However, because it's a half frame camera, you can multiply that by two, so effectively, you're looking at a 48 or close to 50 millimeter uh, lens on a full frame camera. That is the equivalence of what you get from this lens on a half frame camera. It's pretty standard basically. Right on top there is the counter for your film right on top. This is the shutter release button right here. Over here is the flash switch. You just switch it up and it will turn on the flash. There is your flash unit that's built in. See the flash is ready, so it lights up, and let's see how the flash works. To open the back, you use this little switch there. You just push, and the back will open upwards, which is not quite standard. Usually it opens sideways, but this one flips up, and in there, you load your film here. You try and slip it into these brackets right there. And then when you close, you will start shooting in order for it to catch. It's not automatic. It will not wind automatically once you close the back. You will have to start shooting for it to catch on. And the advantage of that is that the film economy on this camera is really really excellent that means you can squeeze in about six frames on a full frame camera for cameras that do that you're able to squeeze in maybe three frames but because this is half frame you are literally able to squeeze in about six half frames on top of where you would usually be at the zero position right and that is really something it's really awesome this camera has amazing uh, film economy when you're done shooting you will have to manually turn on or switch this film rewind uh, into the rewind position and it will start rewinding and when it does you will have to listen out for when it's fully done. And when it's fully done, you will hear it. You will hear it when the lead just slips off this and it starts just rolling in there. And when I notice that it's fully done, all I do is open the back and it stops. 
and this button here re resets. Pull this down and then you can close it. So the experience of shooting with this camera, it was overall very, very good. What I didn't like about shooting with this camera was this right there. The viewfinder was, um, how do I describe it? It was okay, right? It was a new experience for me. What I found I was having an issue with was trying to align my eye with this viewfinder. I don't know what it was, and, and I think that's one of the disadvantages of having this so flush with the surface. I look at my the size of my fingernail and compare it to that. I found that when I was shooting on the road, I had to be careful to align my eyes with this properly. I'm particular about the sound of the shutter of these cameras, and I must say that the shutter sound on this was satisfactory. It wasn't disappointing at all. Like you can literally hear it and you can feel the vibration of the motor as well when it moves. And that is reassuring to me, even though it's not super loud, which is actually a good thing because you can use this in quieter settings. You can actually feel the vibration of the motor. That was satisfying to me. I really like that. When I developed the film, what was I expecting? I was really expecting it to be okay, you know, like because it's half frame, you're basically using half of a full frame, so you're blowing things up a little bit more if you're looking for single frames, and um, that allows uh, you to see the grain a bit more, which some people like, some people don't like. For me, I like grain. So I actually was quite impressed by what I saw. But the first thing that I caught on when I started scanning the negatives was the color. The color of the images that I was getting was superb, okay? With no color correction, the color of the images that I was getting was amazing. So vibrant and so rich. Oh my goodness, this, this camera is amazing for that. So vibrant, so rich, and very sharp images as well. So I must say that I was very, very happy with this. I think this was a good purchase. It's a very, very, very nice camera. In the future, when I saw all my cameras, when I saw most of my cameras, this is one of the cameras that I will certainly be keeping and um, it's one of the keepers actually and that, that says a lot because I do have quite a lot of cameras. This camera is really good. So the other thing that you can do with a half frame camera is you can create diptychs which is basically two side by side images and you deliberately set off to take those images to show different perspectives or different parts of a story or something that you're trying to project. So if you're taking a photo of a, of a building, you can show different angles of it in two side-by-side -side images. And that allowed me to be quite creative and also to think in advance uh, what I wanted to project or what the story I was trying to tell. Uh, in advance and that was that was satisfying. I certainly will be keeping this camera. This is an amazing camera I would recommend it if you are looking for an automatic camera a half frame camera one that you can Throw in your purse in your bag one that you can take with you everywhere This is one of the cameras that you can literally take with you everywhere and that's exactly what I plan to use this camera for because it takes double A batteries, it's very convenient. I plan to literally take this camera with me, put this in, keep this camera in my bag. This is my traveling camera. Anytime I need to take a film photo and I don't have um, a camera on me, this is what I'm gonna go for. 
and the advantage of this is because it's how frame you can take twice as many images as you would with a full frame 35 millimeter camera so the, that's that's very good right so if I keep one roll of film in this I will be sure to have this lasting one roll of film lasting a pretty long time and that's one of the wonderful things about this camera it's automatic so you don't have to think about it the focusing on this camera was decent as well very good very good only in a few photos where some of the images out of focus it was mostly very good i love this camera guys i love this camera this is now my new in my bag everywhere i go kind of camera so anyways guys i hope you did enjoy this episode if you did please leave this video a like and if you haven't already subscribed please do subscribe thanks so much for watching and as always i hope you have a wonderful day and stay safe